Hello my dear friends, I've decided to make this short video about two aspects of the new Continental GP5000 tubeless tires. So one, we start at GP5000 mark and we go, and we go, so here is one. Hopefully you can see this wire here coming out of the side wall and uh, there was the second one somewhere as well. Oh, here's the second one. So if you just pull that it will <laughs> go all around the tire and it will never stop shedding. And there's another one here, so that's the third one. Um, if you cut it really close to the tire, oh, there's another long one. So the, basically the side walls are just breaking apart like that. Um, now if you cut it really close to the side wall, it will just peel off again and continue. Obviously if you pull it, it will go on. If you try to glue it, this might work. I have haven't actually tried that yet but yeah doesn't look like it's a really good quality tire anyway it's definitely uh, an original continental gp5000 tire just based on that and i've been in contact with continental about that they've said that um, this is probably normal and that i'm supposed to just cut it close to the tire and that it will stop which is a bit odd, but anyway, doesn't really work. And their warranty doesn't really work either. So I've been in contact with the manufacturer and they said, uh, well, contact the retailer basically. I've contacted the retailer, the retailer said, yeah, send it to us at your own cost. We'll send it to the manufacturer. They'll analyze it. If they deem that it's a warranty case, they may replace it, otherwise they may just send you your old tire back. So, I guess I'll just try to use them. And these are tubeless tires, so then another concern is that they may lose air once this becomes really thin out of all of the shedding, or maybe there might be even a micro hole because of that. I don't know, I don't know how much it affects the structural strength of the sidewall as well. It's bit hard to tell and these tires have only done about maybe 200 kilometer stops they haven't done a lot at all so almost new um, and another thing against continental continental gp5000 is that it clearly states on the sidewall there that they are designed for hooked rims now i've started using them with hookless rims just say from today and um, if you refer to Envy website they do say that they do not approve these ties to be used with hookless rims so that plus the weight the good thing about these ties is that they are puncture proof and I didn't have any punctures during this short experience with them so that's really good but otherwise, I would probably vote for Schwalbe 1, the new ones. I'll definitely try them out and uh, compare them. Now, if you know any other details about that sidewall shedding, just let me know in the comments. Thank you.